when God hit when God hit this Western civilization of the United States and Canada, when He hit this earth in this Western civilization with the mighty baptism of the Holy Ghost in the 1900s. And it's continued on to this very hour and will continue on until Amen. it's coming. Yes, but sad to say that most churches don't even have a clue to what a move of God is. Amen. Most churches, they think a move of God is a praise team jumping up and down and shaking, 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 shaking and singing some off the wall unscriptural course. Come on about angels worshiping us. Can somebody say amen? Oh. And we think that's going to get God to move. Yeah. And on the vice versa, if you don't have the red back hymnal, God can't move either. Yeah. They're both wrong. <laughs> You hear it? Yes. Because God don't move in a method. Come on. Yes. God don't move in a method of man. He don't move because of a red back yes. kingdom. He don't move because of songs on the screen. He moves because there are William Seymour's that are hungry for a move of the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise God. Yes. Yes. Let me get the preaching now. In the Old Testament. Yes. All right. There were seven feasts that the Lord spoke to the children of Israel as they were journeying through the wilderness and to keep these until even after they got into the promised land and, right. and until the, the day that the Lord came to fulfill it. Uh -huh. There were seven feasts of the, the Lord. <coughs> Not going to go through all of them, just want to go through four of them tonight to set this up. There's the, there was the feast of Passover, unleavened bread, first fruits, Pentecost, trumpets, atonement, you know, tabernacles. But these were seven feasts that they kept every year. This was the one time of year, even though Israel was split under the reign of Rehoboam, the reason why Jeroboam wanted to make them new gods was because he knew they were going to Jerusalem to keep the feast. Yep. This was revival time in Jerusalem. This was Jerusalem's once a year camp meeting that they went to. And if you would have been there during this time of Acts 2, you would have, if you would have been in Jerusalem, you would have seen the, the market streets and you would have seen the, 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 the uh, stone streets there in Jerusalem overrun with people. They would have been overrun with Jewish, Samaritans, Pars, Medes, Elamites, they would have been run with all Ethiopians because everyone come to Jerusalem for the Passover. Those that was not under the Abrahamic covenant, they came because they could buy and sell, make a living, because they knew the crowd would be there. Because the Jews was coming for camp meeting. They had been doing this all of these thousands of years, but on this particular year, this would be the last one they would ever do. That's right. There would be some that would still practice, but it wouldn't mean nothing. Even when Jesus was 12 years old and he went up to the temple with Mary and Joseph, he went to take that lamb to the priest because of the Passover. Yeah. On, Little did God in heaven, I wish I had time to preach. <laughs> Little did they know that. Little did they know that. When Jesus at 12 years old, Brother Danny was carrying that little first sling of the lamb across his shoulders, taking it to the high priest there in the temple. Little did that high priest know when he took that lamb out of Joseph and Mary and Jesus' hands that the lamb was standing right before him. Yeah. Little did they know that the lamb of God, this little lamb would cover the sins of Joseph.
thousand possible years that they were doing this until the day that Jesus came. And when he said, this day is a scripture fulfilled in your ears. That's right. right. Now, the first Passover, when they finally got to Jerusalem, as they did on the day of Pentecost. See, people think Pentecost means Holy Ghost. Come on, brother. Yeah, come on. Come on. Actually, if you want to get technical about it, when you say, when somebody asks you what's your and you say, I'm Pentecost, you know what you're actually you're saying? You're saying, I'm 50. Yeah. Because that's what Pentecost means, is 50. 50. 50 days after the Passover lamb was sacrificed, after 50 days, they had a Pentecost, which meant 50 days. So I'm a 50 preacher. Come on, brother. You're a 50 preacher. Amen. Amen. All right, come on. This is a 50 church. Amen. But it's not the term that gets God to move. It's what happened on the 50th day. It's what happened when on the 49th day it was old dead tradition. 48 days it was old dead Jewish religion. On 40 and 39 days it was old dead headed religion. But when the 50th day come, the Holy Ghost of God manifested into this world. Come on. And for the first time, he had been with men ever since the beginning of time. He came up on men like Jephthah. He came up on men like Samson. But never was there a time when Jesus would come inside a man. He said, my spirit will not only be with you, but it shall be in you. Somebody else. He said that, Lord, I love you, I love you. He said to have a Passover. Mm -hmm. On the first, the first, there's seven weeks of revival. On the first week, I want you to take every man, the firstling of the flock, and take a lamb, a little ewe lamb, which meant in the Hebrew a sucking lamb that was still nursing from its mother's uh -huh. milk. Uh -huh. Come on. It wasn't an adult lamb, it was a baby lamb, a ewe lamb. Yep. A little baby lamb that was so innocent, it did not know what it did, it didn't know what it had done. But they would go, and as soon as that mother would drop that little baby, and it would and it would nurse for a few days, then would be the time to take it up to the Passover to Jerusalem. And I want you to get this scene with me because it's glory. But this is what price Jesus paid for you. Amen. If you know anything about Old Testament, you'll know that when. And he said, he would say in Leviticus there, when they brought a lamb to the high priest, only the high priest. Uh -huh. He had other priests, but only he could sacrifice. Right. When they brought them little baby lambs to the temple. <clears throat> the year that Jesus brought the little lamb to the temple. <coughs> the Bible said that that priest had to inspect that lamb yep. with careful a scope. He would make sure that every eye was the same color. No ear was shorter than the other. Read it there in Leviticus. Not now when you get home. Listen to me right now. When you tell me to read that, was a, you heard from me. Listen to me right now. It's there. He wanted to make sure that no leg was shorter than the other. God would not accept the three-legged, maimed, crippled up sacrifice. That's right. He wouldn't accept a sacrifice that had one blue eye and one red and, and one black eye. But he would accept the sacrifice that was perfect. Every eye, every tooth, every piece of wool had to be perfect, symbolizing that the perfect one would come. Yeah. Glory to God, symbolizing that one day God would come in flesh and dwelt among his people. And he would be called the Lamb of God. And he would not be maimed nor crippled, but he would be perfect. 